I'm proud of my heritage. I'm proud of being Karazan and I'm proud of coming from Sabah. But if there's one thing that I am not proud of myself is my inability to speak my native Karazan language because most of the time I will end up in situations like this. Oi! Oi! Tanak excited! Oh, doy! Tago! Iko ko no, gan? Iko ko no! Mmm! Kalati, no? Oh! Kalati! 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 Apa gitu sudah soalan moing? Oh hey, so if you're like me and you're pretty much hopeless in the language department, then this video is for you. Best part is, you don't have to be native Karazan or Sabahan to understand this video because if you are a Chinese and you've been called banana, this video is also for you because I feel your pain, bro. I understand, bro. So number one, disappointment. As someone who do not speak the native language, we understand that people are disappointed in us. We feel your pain, we feel your disappointment. We're disappointed in ourselves too, but you don't have to make it so obvious, yo. What? You cannot speak Kadazan? Hey, bukan your family Kadazan Hey, hey, macam mana ni bikin malu sejak nama sejak Kadazan, but cannot speak Kadazan. These people are pretty awesome because they're always there to help. But sometimes they can be the most annoying people you've ever met. Ara mighty, not ara mighty, ara mighty, ara mighty. Say it, say it, ara mighty, say it. Number three, the excuses. Now you and I, we're on the same page. We don't know how to speak the language, the mother tongue, and people are disappointed in us. So what do we do? We give excuses to cover our asses. Uh, my parents didn't teach me bangal. Oh, at home we don't speak Kadazan, we speak English and PM saja. Ya, bapa yang kali sudah semua belajar ni. Tapi mama saya tidak ajar dari kecil. Macam mana juga? Alah, moin. Usually kids my age, they don't know how to speak Kadazan. Serious. It's okay, but uncle said pan Mandarin, so can cover lah my kadazan. Number four, the interpreters. When you're confused at the situation, when someone is talking to you in a language that you should know but you don't know, then these interpreters will come into your lives and save you. Problem solved. Me, me, see me, me. Saya tidak faham apa ni mau yang cakap apa dibilang ni me. Oh, she said she lama already tinggal here, so she kenal si Nina, Grandma semua. Oh, iya. Oh, doy. Ah. Oh. Ni apa dia bilang tu? Hey, funny, funny what this boy. I like lah. Hope is not lost because even if you cannot speak in your native mother tongue, at least there are some pretty cool things that is happening in your life that you have to be appreciative about. For example, number five, you may think of impressing other people with your other achievements. I know I may not be able to speak Kadazan, but I met Kimura. See, 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 I acted in a musical before. <gasps> My own poster, my face, my face poster. Nick Vujicic, I met him. Well, it's supposed to be Nick Vujicic. Vujicic, that's what he said. Vujicic. I made this, this beautiful. Number six. The best part about not knowing your native language, but you kind of know here and there bits and pieces, is the fact that. You can gossip, and your siblings, who might just be as horrible as you, will understand you. Haha! <laughs> it's like what my sister and I normally do when we're in KL, and we try to gossip. We speak in Kadazan. And some tanakwa kusana, 
lebih handsome lagi kan boyfriend sih ya I benci satu orang wah iso tutup muka pun macam fokok Oke ngopla sini Hmm sangku ah Pakun juga Awak lah omang Awak boleh Awak ingkah Omang Omang zo Menci napen Napen hai hau Number seven being proud. Now just because you don't know your native tongue doesn't mean that you don't know some words and the words that you do know even though how little and how crappy they sound to you because you're just so bad at speaking it, you make the best of it. Aramaydi, isay nga anu, mantak nombo, isay zama anu, ala wak batang dukti. Noko tikok my heart. So there you go, just some of the things that I face because I don't know the Katazan language but I want everyone to remember that even if you don't know the language, don't be sad about it. Go on and just learn no matter how stupid you sound like, I'm still learning. I listen to people all the time when they speak and I try to improve myself. So that's the main thing. Improve yourself, learn. Don't be ignorant because the worst thing you can do with your heritage is just being ignorant and think that that's not important. Because it is. Who else is going to continue if not yourself or us? us as young generations so don't forget about that and the next time someone says you don't know the language what kind of a kadazan are you then just say also before i forget i just wanted to say thank you to everyone who commented on my previous video sabahans versus malls i really appreciate all the comments and i am currently in the midst of creating a video on based on your suggestions and i'm really excited it's a secret but the main i guess hint that i can give you guys is that hopefully you'll be featuring someone that you may or may not know really excited for that and if you haven't watched my other previous videos seven seconds challenge featuring brendan lim go check it out because it was so much fun and i had like it was it was hilarious so that's about it have a great weekend week whatever day may be kisses Mwah. stay awesome guys bye